Prior to 1996, a lawful permanent resident who became deportable following a criminal conviction could apply for discretionary relief from deportation. However, in 1996, Congress enacted the Anti-Terrorism and Effective Death Penalty Act, or EDPA, and the Illegal Immigration Reform and Immigration Responsibility Act, or IRA-IRA, which repealed discretionary relief. But what about individuals who were convicted before the statutes went into effect? Did the acts apply retroactively to them? And did federal courts have jurisdiction over deportable residents applying for habeas corpus relief? In Immigration and Naturalization Services versus St. Cyr, the United States Supreme Court considered these questions. Enrico St. Cyr was born in Haiti and became a United States resident in 1986. Ten years later, St. Cyr pled guilty in Connecticut State Court to selling a controlled substance. As a result of his conviction, St. Cyr was found deportable. In 1997, after EDPA and IRA-IRA went into effect, St. Cyr's removal proceedings began. Before the statutes were enacted, St. Cyr would have been eligible for discretionary relief from deportation. However, the Attorney General interpreted the statutes as not allowing St. Cyr to apply for discretionary relief. Subsequently, the Board of Immigration Appeals found that St. Cyr was ineligible to apply for discretionary relief. St. Cyr then petitioned for a writ of habeas corpus in federal district court. The court determined that it had jurisdiction and that repeal of discretionary relief didn't apply retroactively. The Immigration and Naturalization Services, or INS, appealed to the Second Circuit, which affirmed. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.